In case you didn't think that you were exposed to glyphosate, I would point your attention to this study, the detection of glyphosate residues in animals and humans, um, and understand that when you look at humans in general, the vast majority of us are full of glyphosate, unfortunately. Even me, living here in Costa Rica, uh, trying to eat as much organic food as possible, I'm sure my glyphosate test would be positive. What level they would be, I'm not sure. In fact, I'd like to get it tested in the future. But um, glyphosate levels can be tested. I'll show you guys in a moment how to do that. But most humans <laughs> um, have a significant amount of glyphosate in their urine, in their blood. What is the significant amount of glyphosate? What levels should we be looking at? This is the type of thing that we must um, understand and clarify. Now, I also wanted to point out that cows kept in genetically modified free areas had significantly lower glyphosate concentrations in urine than conventional husbandry cows. I've spoken about this point many times, but I will reiterate it now. I am not a fan of grain-finished conventional beef. Glyphosate contamination is only one of the reasons. If you compare the nutritional quality or the nutritional contents of grain-finished versus grass-finished beef, you will find that they're pretty similar. But you must look further, in my opinion, to see that grass-finished beef should be lower in things like glyphosate, should be lower in things like PFASs, perfluoroalkylated substances, should be lower in microplastics because of the fact that the cows should be getting better feed. Cows kept in areas free of GMO grains, free of GMO corn, free of GMO grasses, should have lower levels of glyphosate. So when you are eating meat, it's important to understand, is that cow fed hay? Is the cow fed grass where it's growing? Is the cow fed GMO hay? Is the cow fed genetically modified or Roundup sprayed grasses throughout the season? So it's difficult. This is where I said earlier in the podcast, this is not meant to be, am I afraid of everything? This is meant to empower you, to help you understand that the quality of your food must be assayed in an intentional manner. You have to understand what farmers are feeding their cows, where the cows are grown, and then you'll have a sense of how good that meat may be. So here in Costa Rica, I must ask the farm that I get my grass-fed meat from, what are you feeding them? Are they, get fresh are they getting fresh grasses? Are you giving them hay? What is the hay sprayed with? This is actually where the term organic grass-fed comes from and may be useful. A cow that's organic grass-fed should not be able to be given anything GMO, anything that is uh, grass that has been sprayed with glyphosate. So the hope is that grass-fed cattle will have less exposure to many of these harmful chemicals. And I think generally that is safe, but it must be validated and corroborated individually. 